Hi, I'm John Kinsey, Component Specialist for Rumsey Electric, here to introduce the first in a series of videos designed to help control engineers and maintenance technicians with their photoelectric sensing applications. While controllers are central to any automation process, the photoelectric sensors serve as the eyes and ears of the process, giving you valuable condition and status information. With this video, we hope to give you a good overview of what the critical criteria is in selecting your photoelectric sensors. There are four categories to consider when sizing up a photoelectric sensing application. They are target, environment, electrical, and installation and mounting. The target itself will impact the performance of the sensor. Target color, shape, opacity, and reflectivity are just a few of the variables that will impact sensor response and distance. It is also critical to match the sensor to environmental demands such as temperature extremes, wet or dusty conditions, and washdown requirements in order to get reliable long-term performance from the sensor. Electrical considerations include voltage as well as matching sourcing or syncing outputs to controller module inputs. Outputs can be either discrete or analog to meet application needs. Mechanical installation accounts for variables such as shock and vibration and exposure to electrical noise. Moreover, leveraging quick disconnect sensors and cord sets not only help simplify mounting, they can facilitate quick replacement of non-operational sensors. Next, we're going to discuss the three most common modes of general purpose photoelectric sensing. They would be diffuse, retroreflective and transmitted beam sensing. Each mode has its own unique advantages from extending sensing range to simplifying installation. The one you pick will be dependent on target, environment, cost, and performance. Transmitted beam sensors are capable of the longest sensing range. Retroreflective sensors are capable of a long sensing range as well. Diffuse sensors are generally for close-in sensing because the sensing distance is determined a lot by the color and the shape of the object. Transmitted beam sensing involves a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter transmits the beam of light to the receiver and the object you're sensing passes between it. Retroreflective bounces the light off of a reflector and back to the sensing unit, so the transmitter and receiver are both in the sensing unit. The same thing is with diffuse sensors, where you have the transmitter and receiver in one unit, only this time you're bouncing the light off of the object or the target you're trying to sense itself. In addition to Rockwell Automation's general purpose line of sensors, Rockwell offers many specialty type sensors for dealing with specialty sensing applications like clear object sensing, background suppression sensing, laser measurement sensing, fiber optic sensing, etc. Please go to Rumsey Electric's website for more information on these products or ask your Rumsey salesman to give you a copy of Rockwell Automation's Essential Components Catalog. In the future, we'll be introducing more videos designed to help you tackle some particularly difficult sensing applications. Until then, remember, nothing happens in an automation system until something has been sensed.